Hi guys, I just thought I'd share this with you. I've been doing some work on a rubber band powered train. This one. Um, there'll be links in the video description so you can see how I got on. It worked, but not particularly well. One of the problems was the length of the train made it difficult for it to go round the bend on my track. So instead of having the wheels at the front there, I moved them to the middle so that it could turn round a tighter track. And I got about, well, one circuit almost of the track that I'd got from the rubber band. Um, you're limited in the length of rubber band you can have by the length of the bodywork. So, I was looking at other options. I've got a bit sidetracked here. So that we can go round the bend, I was looking at making the axle movable. And then I thought, well, how can I get the power to the back axle if it's going to be moving like that? So I looked at the possibility of a worm gear. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Because with a worm gear vertical there, it doesn't really matter at all where the axle is in relation to it, it will still be turning the back axle. With that gearing, the worm gear and that gear on the back axle, I've created another problem. That's gearing down the number of turns we get from the rubber band. In fact, if I turn this handle, which winds up the rubber band, if we start here with that black line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So I reckon I've got either twenty-four or twenty-five to one ratio there. And that's taken all the stretch out of the rubber band just to get one turn out of the wheel. Which is really not very efficient, is it? So that's not the way to go. It was an interesting diversion, but it doesn't work at all. So I just thought I'd share it. It's a, a failed idea. I tried it, didn't work. The benefit is that I could actually have a long rubber band with an extension sticking out the front of the train and we can get this flexible or steering so we can go round the bends but that gearing work well it's just not going to work with the rubber band probably be alright if I want to electrify it but that's a total fail I would say